were blocked chance with uh, Fabian Vogelsteller from Luxor, and you're one of the guys who actually started this whole craze off. You're the creator of the ERC20 protocol, for instance. Signed out, yeah. And that's this, the start of the ICO craze a couple of years ago, right? So do you feel guilty? Like, I mean, this whole crypto space is kind of like this big exploration. Like ICOs is an exploration, now it's NFTs, then there was DeFi. It's always like this new... Like, I think it's almost like everybody's learning what crypto and what blockchain can do and what smart contracts can do at the same time. But now you're starting a new blockchain in layer one, right? Mm -hmm. How Correct. come you chose to do that? On the one hand, we want to build things or we want to see an ecosystem around new use cases that are not yet like in, in blockchain. So creating a new network around that community does make sense because like what I have seen over the years is that every blockchain like creates its own community and somehow uh, defines its own community um, by virtue of what they are like even saying or stating. For example, Alex van der Sande wrote on the website in Ethereum, build unstoppable, build unstoppable applications. And that's actually what Ethereum is today, right? So everybody's trying to build something that somehow uh, can live outside of any rule book. Yeah. And what did and you learn then from back in the day when you did the ERC20 protocol and now you're doing something new? What's the differences between then and now for you? The, the, the difference is that like at the time it was also early. And now we're at the time that we have learned a lot and we have seen what works and what doesn't work. And now we can basically like rethink this. Or well, actually I can rethink or I have rethought how we can do things on the blockchain, how we do the blockchain in the interaction. So Luxo is not, it's not about being better, it's about a new community, which is a new, new creative economy. The standards that I have proposed, like especially around identity or like your own blockchain based accounts, um, around uh, the new, like basically making the token standards right, making it interoperable with these kind of identities. Mm -hmm. This is the big piece really that like will enable in the first place uh, normal people to use blockchain. Yeah, so and identity that's, that's is one of the mechanisms you will provide. It's a standard that we uh, propose yeah. and people obviously that build on Luxo will be very smart to use them. <laughs> Because they make more sense this way. Okay. Because it solves like a lot of the, the onboarding problems we have with blockchain. It solves uh, a lot of the fears people have with blockchain. Yeah. Like losing their stuff, having no access. Uh, and it, it really is really also solves the biggest problem that the whole NFT space has right now, and that's that um, identity is missing. So how do you secure the identity of a person then or uh, entity? So it's not necessarily about a personal identity, it's about a persona. It's about, that's why I call it also blockchain-based account system, not identity system. Actually, we call them universal profiles. Okay, sounds cool. When you have a smart contract that is your identity, you can basically change the way you interact with it. So you can have multiple devices interacting with your account. You can have uh, social recovery. You can even have custodian services, that get, like, a, like a password reset of the old web mm -hmm. possibility. But at the same time, the address that does things on chain doesn't change. So when you do this on a key, right, you can never lose the key. So you can never build an identity on top of a key because losing that key is just very likely at some point in time, right? Yeah. Or maybe it gets leaked or whatever. And, and do you want to build up your reputation with like millions of followers and like all the things you do in, uh, like over the next few years with the chance of losing it just like that? Like nobody wants to. And when you do this with smart contracts, it can be solved. There were really a lot of people probably trying to do smart contract accounts. Um, the big difference is that like, uh, I standardized this, like yeah. all end to end, like based on open standards that are like very flexible and, and that they work for a lot of things. What I'm more interested in is soft identity. Soft identity is your internet identity. It's not your personal uh, passport data. Because honestly, I don't care. Like you can use these accounts for this kind of stuff, but that's not how you get people into using anything. Right? You, like they're not starting out with their, their passport um, and their, their personal ID on a blockchain. They will start out with like a nice little uh, CryptoPunk avatar, 3D avatar in a virtual game and some fun stuff they do. We are like 90% like there, I would say. All right, thank you. Looking forward to that.